Good morning. This is Angela. Take two. Um, that would be four, but this is take two. <laughs> um, not a math lesson. I promise no math lessons. You won't like them coming from me. Um, take two. Uh, take one was a voiceless video, so I'm starting over again. <laughs> I know, it's so funny. Um, here's my canvas. I have done a little additional work to it. Um, it was just taking too long, so I had to keep working. I have gone around my... Oh, I wanted to say good morning to everybody, and I hope you're all having a great day. Um... Welcome new subscribers and welcome back everybody else. It's so wonderful to have all of you with me. So let's talk about this canvas. What have I done? Oh my gosh, what has she done? Well, one of the first things I did was I went around uh, many places and highlighted and darkened. Um, I know it's a dark, pretty dark but bright canvas, but uh, some of these areas just needed a little bit of, um, because remember I forgot to put ink around the edges. So all I did was go around the edges and just kind of darken some things up. Now I got the tip of my finger wet and I'm using a fine point uh, Faber-Castell uh, pit artist pen in black. Uh, it has an S on it. I don't know what that means. Small? Teeny tiny? So I did that. I went around quite a bit of it actually and it's hard to say where but I did go down in between places in here and blend it in just to kind of darken it up in there and give it a little more depth. Um, I drew in some stems and just kind of went around wherever I thought it needed it. I put it on there. The other thing I did was, um, remember I was finishing up the edges. You see those okay? And I went clear around. And then when that dried, I went to the back and I used this kind of a glossy tissue paper. I got it in Happy Mail. And I tore the tore it down into strips that would fit here, plus fold over just slightly. And I just finished the back off with that. You don't have to do that. It's just something I like to do. It's just a uh, qualm of mine, maybe. I don't know. I was telling you in an earlier video that if you want to surprise whoever you're giving this to or selling it to, um, some things that you can do with the back of your canvas is you can gesso this as well. Put a color on it if you want. But even just gessoing a tiny little area, you can tuck in a bunny or a little mouse and and put it down and there will be something there for them to see. You could do a little frog peeking up here. Um, it's just different things to do to your canvas. Nothing says a canvas has to be one way or, or another. Um, you're the artist. You do it however you want. But you can see how cute that bunny is peeking there and they'd say aww and then they'd be pulling it off the wall and showing everybody. Look what she did on the back. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? So we could do that if we wanted. Um, we'd have to put a little bit of gesso there and then after it dries we could um, glue it down with some Mod Podge. And then um, you just, that would be it. It would be done. So just something that can be done. Um, 
Oh, that's kind of fun. Hi, Libby. How are you? Oh, you're such a good girl. Yeah. Okay, go see Daddy. Because I know you'll be stealing. Oops, I got a piece of white. Something there. There we go. Got rid of that. Okay. So now we need to work on our dragonfly. He is not quite done. We need to get out our probably our black ink for some of this. And just go down the the tail very carefully. I'm going to get my fingers all inky again, you know. You know I am. So last night, I kept find, I kept having something in my eye and could not get it out. It was driving me nuts. Finally, I went and looked. You know, we finally have to go look in the mirror and figure out what it is. But then I'm always thinking, oh, it'll never come out. Whatever's there, I'll never see it. Well, I saw it all right. It was a piece of this um, glitter off of this dragonfly. Let me tell you, that thing was driving me nuts. So I was very glad to get rid of that. I should have inked this up a long time ago before I before I put glitter on it. Okay. Let's go to the back here and darken it up a little bit too. Oh, sorry. Did not mean to bend your tail. Poor baby. This is a white core paper under here. I'm glad I painted around the edges there. <coughs> if that doesn't look like it's going to take care of it, we'll have to get in there with some black paint. Okay, let's move this. There, let it dry some more and flip this little guy over. Get out your um, art glitter glue or your craft glue. Now you can use these or we can use um, pieces of chipboard. I'm starting to think maybe we want to use some chipboard because white might give us a, a greater reflection on the canvas and might more readily be seen. Um, we don't really want to see that part so much, do we? Because it's supposed to be hidden. Hang on, let me grab a scrap piece of paper over here. Oh, oh, oh. Look what I have, have, have. I don't know if I can even cut this. I might have to cut it with a, a knife. Look at that. I wonder how that, how far off the canvas that would put it. Let's bring our canvas over real quick. Oh boy, that would be perfect. Just that little tiny pet. Okay. I don't know if I can even cut this stuff. I think it has to be cut with a knife. Let's see how Tim Holtz does. Oh. Well, there we go. 
Tim Holtz scissors cut that pretty darn good. It's coming apart though. It's a little too um, it's a little too thick to cut like that. So let me grab the other one. This would have been perfect. But I think we need something a little thinner that is easy to cut and we can stack it. Even though that was perfect, it wasn't perfect. So we need something we can cut real thin. And there's nothing wrong with stacking it. And we can always paint it black if we feel like we need to. Because I have lots of black paint, so we can do that. I am recording, right? Okay, you can hear me, right? Oh, good. Whew. Thank goodness. Now, I don't know if my glitter glue is going to work. Haven't used it in several days. Almost a week, probably. So, I'm just going to stack several of these. I don't care if they're all the same width and length. want to keep them about the same width, but it's not a perfect thing. Let's see. Well, that just about makes it there. Probably one more. When my dog comes in and then leaves, I'm sure she's up to no good. If she just comes in and lays down, I know she's ready just to hang out with me. But when she comes and goes, I start to worry a little bit about what she might be removing. Hey, no, you can't have that. That's mine. That's mommy's. Okay, so I do have to slim it down just a little bit. It's a nice thing about this thinner stuff is we can do that. Hang on, I gotta get the dog. Ready. Hey, come here. Bring it here. Bring it here. Give it. You can't chew up my daddy, no. An old note from my hubby. Good morning. I love you. Enjoy the sparkling snow. No, we don't have snow here. <laughs> That's an old note. Okay. But my dog took off with it. She can't have those. Those are my notes. She wants a note from Daddy. She can ask him to write her one. Hmm. Definitely going to have to be a little thinner, so we'll have to color that with ink or something. So we got to make them a little bit thinner, don't we? Let's take this one, fold it over on itself. Okay. Half. Oh. 
My fingers are not working very well. Okay. See if that slims. No, we need a little more slim. Slim up there. Okay. Not quite. I wonder what else we could use. Wish I had some of those wiki sticks. Boy, those would work great. Wouldn't they? Well, we may have to go to those just so that we can cut them easier. I was trying to think of what I had that would work. I wonder about wire. If you could put a piece of wire under it. Well, let's stick this one up here. We know it will fit there good. So I just got to like this one. See how nice and thin that is? That's what we need. Thin ones like that. The nice thing about the chipboard is that it's um, more solid than those styrofoam dots. And sometimes that's a little better option. You knew I couldn't go without getting my hands all gluey, right? Okay, that's a nice thin one. I like that. Okay. My finger has glue on it. And the glue kept... Let's, let's do it this way. Okay, really thin. There's one. Three. Four. So, can we make that form right down his tail? That would be very cool, wouldn't it?
Now let's go look at that tail. We don't want to clip the tail off. But we don't want to have to clip a big thick piece of cardboard either. Okay, that worked pretty good. So let's do that again. Use this one, it has a very thin piece on it. Oh dear. that again. Now the other thing we can do is just paint that black there on the end if we need to. I think it's probably going to be important to cover these with an ink or a black ink or something like that. Okay this got a little fat right there. Let me cut another really thin one. There we go. Probably could have done that all the way down the tail if I'd have thought of it earlier. Either one, they're both very thin. That's the nicer thing about the thinner chipboard is it's a little more workable, isn't it? Look at that again. And we need one more on it. One more super thin. Let me cut this off straight again. Super thin. So this will be the fourth layer. many we're putting on it is for. Then we'll go up and do his body a little bit more. Okay, let's have a look at that. We need to clip it off a little bit right there. Okay. Um, need something under his wings, right in here. Let's see. This will work for that. Oops. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, oh no. Where did it go? So 
So there's one. And there's two. Now we don't, I don't think we want to do all the wings because we want his wings to have that, you know, that curve in them a, a little bit like a, like a dragonfly would have. I think we better put one right in there because it's the same height. Oh. I want to cut this a little thinner. Oops, come back here. curve it just a little bit and clip a little bit curve and clip curve and clip okay I was curving this way just slightly So it comes around that little curve there. Before we do apply him, we would we better color our uh, pieces back here. So we have the archival ink. Let's just have a look, see how it does. Mm, doesn't cover it very well. Certainly not very fast. Do the back, the bottom. I guess that's okay. I don't want to break anything trying to. Oh, you know what would work? I do. I know what would work. Um. have a fat one of these and a thin one of these. Probably only need the thin one. He probably doesn't want to write on it because it has glue. And because it can't get down into those crevices there. Well, let's see. Need something better. Something a little softer. Let's see. I should have one of these in black, but I don't. Why don't I? Well, 
out. Hang on a second. I'll get some paint. Okay, I'm back with some black paint. Just a deco art paint. Um, of course, it's not been opened. But we're going to open it right now, aren't we? And I'm just going to use what's in the lid there. And I have this little tiny paintbrush. Now, isn't that faster? <laughs> it's so much faster. You can even paint the edge of the dragonfly as we go. Much, much easier. I have to sometimes stop and ask myself, okay, are you going to search all over for something that may work, or you want to just zip over to the other room and get what will work? Because all my paints are in the other room. They're in our spare bedroom. And uh, I just want to paint this edge while I'm here. Why not? Let's paint the back too. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be painted at all. But heck, why not? Sorry, I'm, I have to have this close to my eyes because I can't see that well. Especially with all these sparklies on it, it's causing a great reflection. <laughs> Just going to dab that in a little bit. This will be a lot better. Here. Whew. Makes you sweat. <laughs> it's such a small area. See how much better that covers than that darn pen. So much work to use the pen with uh, with the um, exposed uh, chipboard. Get these.
that's okay. I think once it's glued down, it's just going to look like the dragonfly's body has lumps and bumps like they do. And if it looks like too much, like maybe right there, I don't know what we'll do. I mean, I could take a take the knife and slice it there, but boy, I sure don't want to slice the dragonfly. And there's his little antenna. It, there, that's too small to get anything under it. So you can see that I kind of want the wings to pop up a little bit there. But I think we'll need to put something under them right here and right here. So. Alright. These can be a little wider. Just glue them together. That's probably a little too wide there. Slice it down a bit. A little bit thinner. Make two of them. And we'll put one right there. And we'll put one over on the other wing. We must love our, or I must love my dragonfly, or I wouldn't be working so darn hard on him, would I? Sorry if I'm off camera. There you go. <laughs> I am going to have to edit this batch. Seriously bad. <sighs> I have so many pieces that I tried to do and and uh, put together on a video, but it didn't work out time and time again. I think those will be okay. I don't think those are really going to be seen. I don't know for sure. Yeah, you're not really going to see those. Hi, puppy. Let's bring this over. And take a look. Okay. I think I want it right about there. And I think the black, since we put black under it, I think that's going to be okay. 
it kind of looks to me like I should have gone all the way along but where this light comes through it, it gives it a shadow and that's good but if I had gone all the way along it with the chipboard it would look a lot better but I'm not going to go back and do that so I know that I want this covering up this ugh, piece so it can be there it can be there I think it'll be there and here's the butterfly then here's the other butterflies flying underneath of it now it, it could no it blocks too much of the other butterfly that way let me look up there let me bring it down to Is charging at that other butterfly, isn't it? And the tail's going the wrong way to really do that. I don't want it hanging off the edge because it'll just get broken. But I think it's okay, the other butterfly's under it. If it's up there, it's up too high. He's like headed right out of the canvas and we want to enjoy him before he leaves the canvas. I think that's okay. We can add another butterfly over here if we want. We have one that, um, I have some that are, you know, that we can, that we can add. So I think maybe that's where we're going to place it. What do you think? A-okay? Now, I am going to have to try and use the art glitter glue. I don't want to use, I would like to use the Fabri-Tac or the 3-in-1, whatever you have, but I'm afraid that the acetate might bring up the plastic on the canvas. So, art glitter glue to the rescue. That's what we're going to try. And if that doesn't work, well, we'll come up with something new. I'm going to put it on thick enough that it can get down into those crevices and stuff. And hopefully, won't dry before we get back to laying it down. I don't want it to be too messy. Because we'll have to clean it up on the can canvas. Okay, here we go. What did we decide? Right about there? Yeah, because we want him flying into the canvas, not out of the canvas. moved it. There we go. Oh, 
time. Moved it again. Okay. Now I have a little brush here. Let me come through and clean up that glue along the edges. Otherwise we'll see our glue marks and we don't really want to do that, do we? Because it won't look the same as the uh, won't look the same as the Mod Podge. And there we go. Okay, let's let him dry. And then we'll come back and look at it. And uh, did you see me lick my tooth, my, my paintbrush? Dab it on my tongue to get it wet. <laughs> yes, Angela, you do that. Okay, well, what do you think? Think it's okay? So, a little mixed media canvas. I don't think we need to come back to it. I mean, this is it. It's, it's on there, and it's not going anywhere. So, how about if we just make this the end of our video, and we just take a look. What do you think? We've got a lot of texture in it. We have a beautiful dragonfly. Turned out quite iridescent with his, my cords back there, so I have to move this around it. Lots and lots of different things. So you can see that it, where it's, where I didn't have the black underneath there. But that's something to know for next time. And you could take it a lot further. Um, but I got to the point today where I knew it was just time to stop. Because I need to try and move on to some other projects because I'm chomping at the bit to do so. So, anyway, there it is. Hopefully, the glue will stick to the plastic. of the the Mod Podge. Anyway, all done. Can you imagine being a dragonfly? High above the sky, zooming around with pretty wings. Oh my goodness. Well, I wouldn't want to be a dragonfly. And there we go. If you want to put a bunny in, now's the time to do it. Well, after it dries. Okay, well, thank you for joining me for this mixed media project and claws. And there we go. It went with napkins again. I mean, we have a lot of color in there. And uh, I feel like, though... I feel like, though, it needs something else to frame it. But maybe this is okay. Maybe it's framed enough. Maybe we have enough color. So, maybe it's okay. Alright. I'll let you know if I change it. I will see you later. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day, everybody. Bye!